Motherfucking KD, got me defeated. I thought to make a video to troll Plasma, like Gnome can do this and KD cannot, and that's what happened. Imagine we want to set our profile picture from our wallpaper. And in Gnome we can open settings. Go to user accounts. Click on avatar and select from file. We pick our wallpaper. Then GNOME will give us an option to crop the selected image. Something that KDE couldn't do. And perhaps for a good reason, because I can't choose. So, in Plasma we open settings. We go to user accounts. We click on profile picture and we load from file. And then we select our wallpaper. And we get no option to crop it, so we can only select the full image. Only, that we actually can, and I'm not sure if that is a new feature or I just missed it for long long time. So we have this square, which isn't great because we can't resize it, but you know, the feature is here so I can't really troll. Then again, after we made our selection the parody begins. First we should click on apply button, and why the hell is asking for our password? But seriously guys! If you know stupid small things that GNOME can do and Plasma cannot, please share, and I will upload a video and share it to KDE Reddit. Boom! In your face motherfuckers! That's GNOME screenshot app, and it is the most pathetic screenshot app ever. We can set a delay. We can select a region that works awful, and that's all it can do. And I only show that for KDE guys, in case they've never seen it before. And that's Spectacle, Plasma Screenshot App. And I'm telling you, this app is simply amazing. We can set a delay, or screenshot on click, and it is like a full studio because we get options for opening recording programs. The OBS Studio is a new feature, and while it says I'm missing it, I have it actually installed in recording this very video. I can only guess it can't find it because it is Flatpak, so the domain name is different. But in general, Plasma has huge issues with Flatpak support. And a small tip, if you record with OBS, disable the preview. It will save you CPU and your screencasts will look smoother. Remember how bad the crop selection was before? Check this out when we select region. One thing is we can see the size of the box that makes huge sense. Then, we can move the box around. And then we have 8 handlers to resize it. Oh, and by the way, Plasma has improved such experience a lot this year. And anyway, when we select the region we want, then we can directly open it on another program for further editing. That's the first thing GNOME screenshots should do, if anyone is interested to improve it. 